What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on PvP Cloud and we have been grinding a ton. As you could tell, our sword is level 178. So we have been doing a ton of grinding and I just want to showcase our farms, all our enchants and all that good stuff. So from our grinding, we currently have three bill. I have spent some money on some spawners just so we can keep getting more and more money. And we do have 153 billion token toys we have been using to upgrade our sword. It is all maxed out. As you could tell, we have every single enchant maxed out and it honestly doesn't take that long to max out your sword. It took me about a few hours hours and you can probably do it faster pro is only level 66 i haven't been working on that just because i think the sword is better for now it does make more money and we basically just need more money for more spawners because we are trying to get higher on is top as you can tell we are kind of behind we only have five bill and is top has like 800 bill which is kind of insane basically the main enchants you want for money is token greed of course you want for more tokens you want looting uh you do want auto sell cash cash is probably one of the best enchants for money currently because every time you hit a mob you do get around 100 to 400 k which is kind of insane and there is the stack slicer enchant which has a chance to kill many mobs and i'll go over the, like the method a little bit later of how to make the most out of your spawners if you don't have a lot of spawners there is currently a way to get more money out of them i'm going to go ahead and quickly showcase our um grinder setup so we currently have like all these spawners here i have been going hard on the iron golems because those are the money makers and we have 203 of them which is kind of good um we can definitely keep getting more i do have three bills so let me go ahead and buy some real quick right now let's go into the spawner shop and let's see how much we can buy we have what 3.5 bill um it shouldn't be too much shouldn't be anything too crazy but 22 spawners we're definitely going to take let's go ahead and place those down real quick we're at 225 now we also have these that we're just going to place down real quick all these help and okay so this is basically our grinder for now i think they're building something kind of crazy over there but that is once we do get more spawners and currently okay so this is how we are getting the money so with the cash cash enchant every mob you hit will give you 100 to 400k and there is these stack slicer enchant which has a chance to kill all the mobs in a stack but with that you don't get all the money from the cash cash enchant and it's honestly just way better to individually hit every mob for 100 400k than to kill the whole stack but once you do get a lot of mobs and a lot of spawners you do want to have these stacks like your enchant because you will get a lot more money from that we also have some money fragments that you just kill from killing mobs and so let's go ahead and upgrade our set we have the money set currently because we just are trying to max out the money that we are getting so let's upgrade it well how much do we have 2.3k let's just upgrade every single piece and okay we have about a 0.04 booster which is not the best but we're definitely gonna take it and if we take a look at our pets i did upgrade our money pet a little it's level 16 and legendary and we do have a ton of pets but not a high level money pet i'm trying to get it to ultimate just so we're making the max amount of money that we can be making okay so before we go over how to make the most money out of your mob form and your sword i do want to go ahead and open up some of these monthly crates or these loot boxes so let's just get straight into it if you guys are going to buy anything from the store make sure to use the creator code white at the checkout for 10 percent off your purchase but now let's go into the cloud shop and now let's go into the loot boxes i think we're going to buy three of these summer loot boxes boom let's go ahead and buy those let's see what else we we have 2.25k left. I kind of need more pet spots. Um, and let me see where that is. Okay, it costs 500 clouds for one more pet spot. Um, let me just buy two of these. Okay, that should be good. Now we get equipped three pets at the same time, which is kind of good. I think that's gonna be it for now. We're just gonna hold on to the rest of the clouds for some for some future crates and all that good stuff. There is also G kits. There's so much. There's just so much you could buy. So make sure to use the creator code Michael at the checkout for 10% off your purchase. Let's go ahead and open up these loot boxes. Let's start out with the first one. Hopefully we can get some good stuff from this because we are kind of behind and we do need to catch up. And these loot boxes couldn't be a good way to catch up. Let's just go ahead and see. Um, is that, is that 10 IGs? Let's see. And we did get 10 IGs and a Goliath ring kit. We're definitely going to take both of those. Um, Honestly, the IGs are really, really good because we do need more spawners to catch up on the island value. So we're going to take those and let's open up the second one and hopefully we get something else that is good. Looks like we're going to get 10 more IGs from it and maybe some money. Um, We got five whole crystal levels. Okay, we're going to take that because we are kind of behind on the whole level. Let's see, we're, we're level 66, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're level 66 and the five levels are gonna help a ton i think we have some actually here uh yes we so that's about 10 levels we can actually go ahead and equip and that would bring us to about level 76 but i think we're going to save them for the later levels when it does get harder because you do need more and more xp to keep leveling up but now let's go ahead and open up the last one uh we did also get some more igs from that definitely gonna take that but now we are on the last loot box. Let's hope for something good. And it looks like we got some phantom crates. We're gonna take those. Let's go ahead and open up those real quick. Um, 
Let's open up those. Looks like we got some boosters, pet boxes, and some more spawners. And we actually got five more whole levels. Um, that's like 15 levels. That's actually kind of good. That means we're not gonna have to grind too much. And we do also have a dragon ring voucher that we did get. You don't have to go up to the spawner thing. You can just put them down in the same chunk and they auto stack. And those spawners put us around 6.16 billion island value, which is which is better than what we had before, but it is still not as good as we want it to be. But now I want to go over how to make the most out of your mob farm and sword. So basically, how you want to make the most is instead of equipping the stack slicer if you did already buy it and equipped it you can actually toggle and disable it and assuming you are just starting out you're not gonna have a ton of spawners maybe you're gonna have a farm like us where we just have a few spawners right here not nothing crazy stack slicer is good if you do have a lot of spawners don't get me wrong it is good when you do get a lot of spawners but if you just have a little bit I think the cash cash enchant gives you way more money because it gives you about 100 to 400 K per mob. They could go to stacks like, let's see, we have 200 there, uh, 77, 1000 IGs there. So that's about like 1000 times 400 K, which is, I don't know the math on that, but it is a lot more than doing the slack slicer, which gives us about one mil a minute, maybe. And while you are grinding, you do want to go ahead into these sets and equip a money set. You could click this middle thing here to start collecting the money fragments, and then you could go ahead and actually level up your gear. And we do have 3k money fragments right here. So let me just show you. Once we equip it and go to these sets, we can, uh, pretty sure it's right click. Yeah, right click to upgrade. And let's just upgrade them a few times. Uh, okay, that's it. Let's equip the money set now. And we also do have the money pet. Uh, I am trying to get it to the ultimates here to just give it a little bit of an extra boost. But yeah, that's basically how I am making money currently. But yeah, our sword is kind of crazy. It's level 197, almost level 200. And we do have every single thing maxed out. And the best entrance you want to go for is looting a uh, cash cash. Once you uh, get a little bit of spawners and stuff. Then once you get a ton of spawners, you can go ahead and equip stack slicer for even more money. Um, spawner pouch is good because it does give you more spawners. And it's honestly just free spawners at that point. And then coin greed. um, That's good too. Mob coins you can use in slash transfer. If you take a look in here, you can actually buy pet boxes, which I might go and do. Because I do need the money pets. You can also get rings, tags on the expansions and the removal scroll so yeah mob points are also good catalyst is catalyst is probably one of the most important enchants you want on both your tools honestly because it does help you level up even faster it helps your tool level up even quicker yeah it's honestly good key magnet is always good let's see how many keys we actually have because we have been grinding a ton and we have 2.7k of those um we're gonna open up those later just because they mainly just give pet boxes and boosters i'm pretty sure and crystal boxes so it's nothing too crazy just stuff we have to sort out and i actually do have crystals on my sword i have a money pouch crystal Looting crystal, essence booster crystal, I have an XP booster crystal, and an XP finder crystal. So those are honestly some of the best crystals you can go and equip. And I forgot about our extra pet slot, so let's go ahead and equip some pets. We do slash pets. I want to go ahead and equip my ultimate tool pet that is level 20. And let's see what other pet we could equip. Tokens pet is honestly not that good for grinding because you get most of your tokens while farming. And I do want to go ahead and farm a little bit just to max out our hoe because that would be pretty nice to have. Let's see. Mining pet's kind of useless. I think maybe combat pet. Um, No, I think I'm just going to equip token pet when we do farm. Let's see where that is. I do have a epic rarity. So let's go and equip that one real quick. And yeah, now we can actually add three pets at a time, which is kind of insane. It is a lot better than one pet at a time. And they can all upgrade while we do grind. I want to go ahead and buy some IGs. And then I want to go ahead and test how much money I can make in a minute with the cash cash enchant i think i'm gonna still keep this one disabled because we don't have that many spawners yet but once we do get more we definitely are gonna enable that and get so much money but let's just buy some igs and see how much we can get from the enchants so we have 4.54 bill i think we, that's around 30 um yeah 30 spawners uh actually it's exactly 30 spawners so let's go ahead and place those i don't have to go up there boom and now i'm gonna start farming let's start 46 million is our start i'm gonna grind for about a minute and i'm gonna show you guys how much i actually make so after one minute of grinding i did get to 325 million which is about 280 million that we got in one minute and that's only going to keep increasing as we increase our armor and our pet so that's honestly insane and as we do keep getting more and more spawners we're actually going to keep getting more and more money i think eventually we're kind of close to getting the stack slicer where it's going to be worth it so once we do get that we're going to be getting a lot of money but i think i want to go ahead and start um trying to level up my hoe a little bit let's see it's at level 66 and if we add our 15 levels here it should get around to 
to uh let me do the math real quick i think it should get to around level 81 once we do apply all those so let's get to around i think i want to get to around level 70 before applying the levels on the home and the thing with farming is farming is how you get most of your tokens grinding doesn't really give a lot at all let's see how much we can make in 60 seconds from the actual farming so if we take a look it says we made 1.06 billion tokens in 60 seconds which is kind of insane and we do have the token pet so that probably contributes to a bit of the tokens but yeah farming is how you do want to get tokens and we did get it to level 67 so we did level it up one time and honestly i just realized the max level is not even 100 it's about 130 for the final enchant we will try to level up our hoe a little bit maybe in the next episode but i think i'm gonna wrap things up there if you guys are looking to buy anything off the store make sure to use the creator code michael for 10 percent off and honestly it helps me so much but yeah that's gonna be it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out